Now, 4 Warren Weather with Exact Track 4D Radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, Kim's back to talk about our ride on the roller coaster with our temperatures. Going to be a good bit cooler tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, they are. You know, I have to say something about every time I see that technology from NASA, yeah. all I think about is if we can do that, how can we not come up with a substance that eliminates potholes? Like Fair enough. something that can withstand the expansion and contraction. It's a good how idea. How is that possible that we have think, not discovered you that You would yet. think there's a spackle out there of some <laughs> kind. I, I'm with you completely. Uh, yes, it's a roller coaster ride. We're, we're down, we're back up. We're, it's, it's really going to be kind of a, a crazy week. More of what we would see in the springtime when we're transitioning from winter to spring. Uh, this is a little bit early. We should be in the 30s. We've been in the upper 40s, even 50 degrees today because that cold front just didn't come in as quickly. It is here now as evidenced by the clouds and the falling temps. In fact, just last hour, it was 50 in Detroit, now 45. That's a pretty good drop just within the last, uh, it was about 20, 30 minutes ago. 42 in Howell, 38 in Lapeer, 50 in Monroe. So that air is still sinking down to the south. Sunset today is at 615, comes up tomorrow at 717. As we look at the weather story, we've got a lot going on here. So I'll start with the gusty winds that will start this evening and continue all the way until Sunday. Very cold tomorrow, but warmer for next week. And a best chance for a rain snow mix comes Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. You can really see that cold air just sinking down. So hanging on to 50 out at the airport, 50 down in Monroe. If you watch tonight at five and six, you'll see those temperatures really dropping quickly and the northern suburbs will drop down into the 30s here within the next couple of hours. So even though it was a fairly mild day, if you're headed out and about tonight, keep in mind it is going to get cold very quickly. In fact, look up north, 12 in Marquette, 23 in Alpena, and that air is slowly again sinking down to the south. Along with it, some clouds. We did get a break with some sunshine earlier today, but that's that's faded away tomorrow morning. We might have a flurry or two overnight tonight and into the morning's hour, hours tomorrow, but then that just fades away and we get sunshine through the second half of the day. Wind chills will be a big story tomorrow. 6 a.m. It will feel like it's 9 in Pontiac and only 5 over in Howell. By the afternoon, not much better. With temps in the low 30s, wind chills will make it feel like it's in the upper teens to right around 20, 21 degrees. So very, very cold tonight and tomorrow, but then we warm up again for the second half of the weekend. 21 degrees with mostly cloudy skies tonight, so it will be cold. Winds behind the front have shifted already, now coming out of the north, and they'll be at about 10 to 15, but a few higher gusts around 20 miles per hour puts that added chill into the air. 32 for the high tomorrow, and then I'll step out of the way. We do get back into the 60s next week for one day, but behind it, some slightly cooler air still looks like after tomorrow, we are above average for the next seven days.